Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European indices for the uh, session Thursday, the 1st of December 2016. Please be sure to visit www.tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. And you can download the app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, looking at the weakness in European session this morning, uh, Asian market certainly higher overnight, but that's been negated. Also, US market is exceptionally weak as well. <coughs> and uh, first and foremost is a Nasdaq, certainly uh, experiencing weakness now. Overnight, we had the Asian markets higher. Okay, so Asian markets certainly uh, higher overnight. Uh, I've got a FTSE long position almost stopped out on that long at present. Stop loss at 6733, so not long before I get stopped out. Certainly uh, stopped out my FTSE and potentially even stopped out my Nasdaq longs as well. Now, the uh, Asian markets overnight, the Nikkei finished up 1%, Hang Seng up 0.3%, and the Shanghai impressive 0.7%. On the back of stronger Chinese data and stronger Japanese data as well. Also, we have the OPEC deal. OPEC deal certainly helping oil rally up to $50 overnight. So, therefore, obviously, uh, in the <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, bad cough, uh, indicating bullish bias. And, the, and uh, that certainly has been negated this morning. Now, in terms of economic data this morning, we've had stronger EU data overall from France, from Switzerland, from Germany, uh, from uh, Italy, although UK is probably the only uh, exception to that rule. UK data certainly coming in weaker. Now, <clears throat> one would have thought, given the fact that oil prices are really $50, FTSE itself would have been very, very bullish. That certainly hasn't been the case this morning, given the fact that we've had Chinese data stronger overnight as well. One would have expected the FTSE to move higher. That hasn't uh, expected either. So certainly... Uh, Strange price action this morning, my understanding and my interpretation. Now, let's bring up the actual German DAX first and foremost. <clears throat> Daily chart itself, really trading sideways, no real direction there. 60 minute chart on the German DAX certainly flushed quite hard today. So, German DAX flushed quite hard. His holding uh, support at present, even with stronger EU data as well, which is very surprising. Okay, 10 minute chart of the German DAX at the moment, holding that double bottom support, looking for potential bounce. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. French CAC had this HS formation, but I expected it to be negated due to the fact that uh, we have uh, stronger French data as well this morning. French data certainly came in on the positive side, EU data came in on the positive side, and also given the fact that we had Chinese data as well, adding the fact that we had a commodity market rally with oil reaching $50. One would have expected the uh, the actual uh, European indices to bounce, and that hasn't been the case at present. Bringing up the FTSE 100, I'll give you an insight here. Daily chart on the FTSE itself. Obviously, we know we have key support. Or support has held at 6.730, so we're certainly not expected to revisit that. Okay. At present, the FTSE certainly is trading sideways, and one would have expected a bounce by now, given the fact that, uh, obviously, we had the... Uh, situation with regards to OPEC uh, coming to an agreement sending oil prices $50 and that alone would have sent the FTSE 100 higher. We rejected 6840 and we're right back down to 6740 on this occasion. 10 minute chart, the FTSE 100, uh, just before I go to 10 minute chart, I'll explain to me my uh, inverted head and shoulders formation given the fact that we had this OPEC deal, look at your left shoulder head and then I was expecting the right shoulder to go in and off we, off we go to the races and that hasn't been the case. If you take the Fibonacci retracement, we've taken out 50, 61 and 75% Fib. Very impressively. Okay, so uh, although you have had UK data this morning certainly coming in on the weaker side. GBP market PMI certainly coming in on the weaker side. So again, hurting the FTSE to a large extent there. Okay, 10 minute chart, the FTSE at present really you're in no man's land. The only real support that you really have on a horizontal basis is uh, 6, 7, 6, 7, 30. Okay, that's really the only support that you have at present. So bear that in mind. Although you do have some support here, but that certainly hasn't held. Okay, so 6, 7, 30 really is your support. And we'll see whether or not the FTSE 100 can certainly bounce from here. Especially given the fact that the Aussie and Kiwi were higher overnight and the dollar certainly looks like it's topping out. That certainly isn't having any effect on the FTSE 100 at all. Uh, and also Nasdaq weakness overnight certainly is hurting EU equities. Okay, uh, last but not least, European or Euro stocks. Let's quickly go to Euro stocks 50. Okay, Euro stocks 50 at the moment really is just trading sideways. We have rejected the resistance at 3060. We flushed lower down to 3025. It'll be interesting to see what the market does next. Okay. 
understand okay so basically in no man's land trading sideways okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus just bear in mind you had stronger chinese data overnight you've had stronger eu data this morning opec obviously deal reached as well that should signal a bullish bias but that's been challenged with the situation in crimea and ukraine certainly escalating due to geopolitical tensions okay so and also you have potential concern in italy so whether or not that's dominating going into the weekend is another story uh, i am currently long nasdaq and along the FTSE stop loss at 6733 and uh, 4799 respectively if i get stopped out then i'll have to reassess my bias goodbye now. <clears throat>